Following the success of the matchmaking event by the Qatar Development Bank to meet with prospective partners in Lagos, the Qatar Nigeria Economic Forum was held to explore possible areas of collaboration between Nigeria and Qatar. The Qataris from public and the private sector are looking forward to the invitation to find more opportunity between the two countries in increasing the value of the trade and technology transfer and rise of the level of bilateral relations. We are expecting that the Qatari investment in Nigeria will reach by the end of the year more than 500 trillion or one billion dollar. Ladies and gentlemen, we are trying to increase our value of trade and technology to rise the level of bilateral relations. The Minister of State for Budget and National Planning like urged Qatari investors to take advantage of abundant investment of opportunities in Nigeria. Permit me to use this platform to urge the Qatari business environment and other potential investors to leverage on the vast investment opportunities in Nigeria as government has deliberately designed incentives in line with global best practices in the ease of doing business that guarantees return on investment. The Minister of State for Industry, Trade and Investment says Nigeria is currently working towards signing an investment promotion and protection agreement with Qatar. Let me use this opportunity also to remind your excellencies of the need for both countries to conclude negotiations and sign the outstanding bilateral agreement on economic and technical cooperation and the investment promotion and protection agreement, IPPA. These agreements are important steps towards improving our cooperation and protecting the interests of both parties. Nigeria is committed to this partnership, and I look forward to the development of robust and effective business partnerships for the benefit of both our nations. Qatar says its vision is to improve economic development by providing smaller and medium enterprises and entrepreneurs a wide range of opportunities. As a result of this relationship, Qatar has invested in over $390 million in the logistics and the transport sector in 2013. And the trade volume between the two nations from 2017 and 2020 is around $39 million. The good news is that as a result of the Lagos event, and in two, in two days, the amount of the booked orders between our private sectors exceeded this, the total amount of the three years of a trade between the two countries. The federal government says it is making tremendous efforts to further diversify the Nigerian economy and pledges to provide an enabling environment for businesses to thrive in the country. The Nigerian economy is now diversified. Oil no longer contributes 90% to revenue as it used to be, or 80% of the foreign exchange that we, we, we get. Currently, oil only now contributes about 7.8% to GDP. The non-oil sector is contributing 70% to uh, the national uh, revenue. So clearly, you can say that the economy is diversified. The world is changing rapidly, and with emerging world events, as well as the continued need to rebuild from the COVID-19 pandemic, developing trade alliances is critical. Thuraya Farouk, Arise News.